Hi, and welcome back to Stop Being Sold. My name is Michelle, and I'm here with Brian. And in this video, we're answering one of the top questions we receive about early retirement. And that is, can I retire at 55 with $500,000 saved? Yep. Now, in order to answer this question, there are six things that you need to consider if you want to retire early. These are critical factors that may affect your ability to live the retirement life that you desire and actually have enough money to live on. And you want to make sure that you keep watching because number four is the one that stops most people from retiring early. So Brian, let's get to it. What is the first factor that people looking to retire at 55 or those just wanting to retire early need to consider? The first thing is lifestyle. Okay. You've got to know how you want to spend your retirement. Things like travel, hobbies, just as much as healthcare affects how much you need to have saved. I've seen people not be realistic about the type of retirement lifestyle they actually want, only to spend more and have their savings drain too quickly. And then have to go back to work. Exactly. The key is having realistic expectations that avoids the risk of having to return to work unexpectedly due to lack of funds. Let's move on to the second factor, which is investments. People mistakenly think that just having savings is enough. The truth is how your savings are invested makes a big difference if you re can retire early or not. Mm -hmm. Your your portfolio in retirement in, needs to match your risk tolerance. If you're invested in volatile stocks, can your portfolio handle a 20, 30, 40% decline? As you enter into retirement, it's more about what you can keep versus how much you can make. Amen to that. I'm going to repeat that. It's more about what you can keep versus how much you can make. I think that's exactly right. Super critical. Yeah. Let's move on to the third factor. You've got to account for what other income you're going to have. Are you going to get money for Social Security, pensions from work, or even part-time work in retirement? Mm -hmm. These can help your savings last a lot longer. Many pensions today begin at age 55. Having a pension creates the opportunity to make your savings last longer as you need less to draw down from, right? right? Also, many that retire early will also begin taking Social Security at the earliest age of 62. That's another source of income that will allow your savings to last well into retirement. Make sure to check out our Social Security calculator so you know what you can expect in them benefits at that age. We're going to drop that link in the description below. Absolutely, we will. So the fourth factor, and this is a big one is the cost of healthcare, which just so happens to be the biggest reason that people delay retiring early. Yeah, transitioning from a group or work healthcare plan to one you pay on your own usually creates a sticker shock. Uh, it <laughs> almost always creates a sticker always. shock. <laughs> and it's not surprising considering, according to Fidelity Investments, 22nd annual retiree healthcare cost estimate, a 65-year-old retiring this year can expect to spend an average of $157,500 in health care and medical expenses throughout retirement. And a couple could spend $315,000. That's a lot. Yeah. You need to make sure you have a plan to pay for things like your doctor visits, your medications, and your health insurance. Make sure you get estimates and plan on more than you need. A lot Even more, it sounds like a lot it. More. Because what, what do we know? We know that health care costs are going up every year, every, every year. year. You have to expect it. So, yeah. and right more right. higher Michelle than inflation. Absolutely. So just remember that. Yeah. And think about this. If you're, even if your income's lower, you can actually qualify for some higher subsidies from healthcare.gov to offset the cost of your insurance. It's still a lot more money than you expect. Okay. So if you qualify, you'll be able to put in a much higher deductible plan. And in the case of an emergency, it will cost you a lot of money out of your pocket. That's what you got to be careful of. Yeah, even then it's not cheap. No, it's not. It's Especially not. that you're in a higher deductible plan. And if you don't have the money to cover it, right? what then? Right. So, all right, let's get to debt. Ugh. Mortgage, student loans, or credit cards can seriously impact how long your savings last if they're not paid off before retirement. You want to see how fast you can pull down that $500,000 in savings in just a short few years? Not really, but show us. <laughs> okay, just, just listen to this. The median monthly mortgage payment in the United States is $1,100. Oof. The average monthly car loan payment in the U.S. is $729 for new vehicles and $528 for used ones originated in the second quarter of 2023, according to credit reporting agency Experian. Medium credit card debt also for those 55 to 64 is $3,000 with the average around $6,900, according to MoneyGeek. 
using these stats, average monthly payment for that credit card debt at 2% of the balance is $60 to $138 a month. Oof. Add all these up, the mortgage, the car, the credit cards, and with only a $500,000 balance, you can see that you can draw down that balance very quickly if you've got that type of debt in retirement. And you need to ask yourself, how do you compare? And that right there gives you the answer if you can retire at 55 or not. Right. And to make matters worse, let's not forget inflation. Oh. It's number six on the list. And well, it's something you absolutely have to take into consideration if you're going to retire early. It can erode your buying power in a blink of eye. Yeah. Prices tend to rise over time and $500,000 today won't have the same buying power in 20 years. Or Brian, if I can interrupt real quick, not, we don't even know two years, five years. Yeah. The way that I things mean, are going right we now. We are today. Oh, no. You're right. Yeah. You know, your retirement savings and investments need to earn above that inflation rate, whatever it is, right? Right now, the average is 2.69% over the last 20 years, just to break even over 20 to 30 years of retirement. Yeah. So as you can see, these six factors can make or break the desire to retire early at age 55. It's doable if you plan it right. It will require careful budgeting and investment planning to make $500,000 last through retirement starting at age 55. Mm -hmm. My advice, get some advice. Talk to a financial advisor that can help you create a detailed retirement plan for your specific situation and your goals. We recently did a video on figuring out how much you need to have saved for retirement. And yeah. in it, we show you how to do the math. We walk you through step by step by step how to do the math so that you can make the best decision for your retirement. Once you do the math yourself, go get some extra advice. Yep. Make sure to check out that video. Link is in the description below. Also, if you like the content of this video, hit that like button. Help us grow this channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Brian and I put out videos on the daily that help you make the best decision for your financial future. Definitely. All right, Brian, awesome conversation today. Thanks for this and thanks to everyone who watched. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.